All right, already got a dungeon down. Already got five heart containers. Let's see where we're going next. Oh yeah, the dungeon's just there now. Huh. So you, so you like integrate the dungeons into the world map. So yeah, we're about to meet what I assume will be called Robbie. I don't think they outright said the name for some reason. Right here, princess. Mm. Hello, sir. Pardon us, but my name is Left. Lady Impa is my colleague and... Blueberry. Oh, okay, they did keep the pun. So what I heard from people was that uh, Robbie was actually like a translation fumble, and it's supposed to actually be a pun on strawberry, but this guy is Blueberry. Blueberry. So they did get it this time. Who's that? I'm a very busy man. No time for chatter. Now get. I apologize for the unannounced visit, but please, it will only be a moment. No, no, no. I'm about to leave. Come back later. If you could just hear us out. I said no! I've got to... I've got to save Link. Hmm? Hang on there. That's Link's cloak. So why do you have it? Did you see him? Well... What? Okay, tell me everything. Tell me about the rifts and anything you know about the swordsman. Hmm, I understand the situation now. Thank you for the explanation, princess. Whew, we finally got through to him. Alright. This has been bugging me ever since you barged in here. What is that floaty thing? You can see me too? That's strange. Zelda's always been able to, but now both of you can as well? You're telling me we're the only ones who can see you? That's odd. Indeed, such a fascinating, and might I add, adorable creature. Yeah, yeah, sure. But back at the matter at hand. What is it that you and I have in common? We both ended up in rifts and lived to tell the tale. It seems that rifts change people somehow. Oh yeah. Guess I should introduce myself. The name's Luberi. I'm Impa's older brother. And the swordsman who saved you is Link. I made his weapon, the Sword of Might. Ah. It's a bit trite. Mr. Lubre, why did you make him a sword? Princess, remember that big, nasty blue fellow who captured you? The sword was for taking him out. See, I spent my time researching Hyrule's history and its rifts. For ages now, rifts have appeared, and sometimes folks ended up in them. Those unfortunate enough to be pulled into a rift vanished without a trace. After which, townsfolk would say they'd been stolen away. Anyhow, Link made it his mission to fight the monsters that come crawling out of the rifts. He also tried to prevent folks from going missing, and I've been helping him as I'm able to. Which is why I gave him a sword. One that's effective against rift monsters. The Sword of Might Princess Zelda's wielding is the very one I hoped would be of use to Link. So Link was helping out with the rifts as well. 
Plenty of monsters come out of rifts, but that blue one was particularly powerful. I've got a hunch that if we take him out, it'll fix the whole people disappearing business. Princess, you shared that Link managed to take the blue guy out. And yet, the rifts keep coming. Clearly we're missing something. The rift in the forest is gone, but Link's not back. What we need is more information. I may have something useful. I was taken by the rift in Hyrule Castle. It felt like I was flown somewhere far away. The rift was the rift I was pulled into was in Hyrule Castle, but Princess Zelda found me in the rift in the forest. So how did I end up there? Oh. Siri and Desperia, thanks for following. So how did I end up here? Rifts don't follow the same rules as your world. Things connect differently inside them. My friends mentioned something about oversized rift in other areas. We might end up finding the king and other missing people in far off rifts. So maybe Link is somewhere else then? Hey, Zelda. I'm gonna fly up high. Oh, Axie995, thanks for following. I'm gonna fly up high and look for some of the other big rifts. I think I found some. There's no saying where Zelda's father and the others might be. But I did spot big rifts we can go explore. <laughs> it's the exact same corners as in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, isn't it? I marked them on the your map, Zelda. If we fix rifts, we may be able to save your father and the others. So let's get to work, Zelda. Princess Zelda, I must insist you refrain from going to any more rifts. It's far too dangerous. That's up to her to decide, Minister. I mean, she's the only one capable of mending the rifts. During this time of crisis in Hyrule, we all have to play our parts, Princess Zelda included. You make a salient point, Mr. Lubery. Princess, I urge you to go with Try to the other rifts. You're the only one who can fix them and save all the people who've gone missing. Minister, you stay here and help me investigate the rifts. We'll play support for the princess. Oh, of course. Investigations are my specialty. Princess, the rifts marked by Tri are located in the Gerudo Desert and Jabul Waters. Please let me know if you require further information. Alright, Princess. I leave you I leave it to you to find the King, General Wright, and Link. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The sword you got there? Pretty sure I can make it even more powerful than it is. I'll have to do more research on it though. I'll talk to talk so talk to me later if you're interested. I do like this structure that Zelda's been falling into of having like a really big like core quest to resolve. You wanna chat about chat about the sword, huh? As I mentioned before, the Sword of Might is my craftsmanship. For a while now, I've been researching the type of crystal that's sometimes left behind in the rifts. In my research, I discovered that it's highly effective against rift monsters. Aha, it appears you have some of that blue crystal with you. I end up calling it Might Crystal. It's what I forged the Sword of Might from, in fact. During my investigations into the rifts, I met Link, who's from Southern Village. I made the sword for him, and the rest is history. 
Lynx made good use of the sword. Meanwhile, I have been forging the things into mite crystals. See that machine in the corner? I designed it to enhance the sword. Eh? Looking at the sword, it seems like it's lost some of its power. But once we enhance it, it'll be back to its original state. You should give it a try. All you need to do is bring me some mite crystals. Tell me about Link. You want to learn about Link? Well, I suppose I've got a minute. You know how I've talked to people being stolen talked about people being stolen away over the years? Well, there's one story about all that which is pretty unique. At one point, there was a group of children who went missing, but they ended up coming back. Link was one of the kids in that group. Unfortunately, those poor kids lost a lot of a lot in the ordeal. Their memories, their spirits, and they lost the ability to speak, but Link, he was different. He had kept the ability to talk. <laughs> he, he became the most talkative of them all. While he did lose the ability to speak, he's the only one who recalled being stolen away. On top of that, he gained a special ability to sense when new rifts would appear. So he started using his uncanny ability to head monsters off whenever a new rift would crop up. And he'd also do what he could to prevent others from being taken into rifts. Silent protagonist lore, true. No explanation for why Zelda's silent, but maybe that's maybe they're building up to something here. I bet he thinks if he keeps fighting, he might eventually be able to speak again. Okay, actually, it'd be really, really peak if this game ended on Link saying like one word. That would be really good. Through his dedication, he's kept countless people from ending up in rifts. So I'm sure he's also doing this because it's the right thing to do. It isn't just self-motivated. That's all I got for you on Link. Need anything else? What should I do? Princess, I urge you to go with Try to the other rifts. You're the only one who can fix them and save all the people who've gone missing. Need anything else? No. You got a rocky journey ahead of you. Keep your chin up, Princess. I'll be helping Mr. Lubery investigate the rifts that so we can better support you. Princess, how can I help you? Tell me about rifts. Right now, there are large rifts in Javua Waters and the Gerudo Desert. Yeah. I'm happy to share anything I know with that. Uh. Javua Waters is northeast of here. It's home of the Zora, who are remarkable swimmers. Link will say The Legend of Zelda. He'll, yeah, he'll turn to the camera. It'll be the one voiced line in the entire game. He'll say, truly this was The Legend of Zelda. And then the Zelda timeline shows up and it reveals that this takes place before Skyward Sword. <laughs> well, excuse credits. Yeah, I'll accept either of those. The residents are divided into the Sea Zora and River Zora. On the coast, soon after entering Jabul waters, there is a small Hylian fishing village. I'm sure the villagers there have interesting morsels to share about you, with you about the local area. Yeah. Gerudo Desert is west of us. It's a harsh land with high temperatures and sandstorms. Skilled warriors known as the Gerudo live in a town far to, into the desert. Oh yes. I almost forgot to mention, they're all women, not a man among them. They're often on patrol near the desert entrance, so you may want to talk to them there. Yeah. Uh. Uh. I keep thinking about his majesty, the general and Link. I hope they, that by mending the rifts, they'll re be returned to us. Oh, that's it? Okay. Now let's see if I can upgrade my sword. What do you want to enhance? My sword or my energy? I guess it's my energy. I'll take five mite crystals. Sort of thing, leave it to me.
The energy gauge is now level two. Nice. And that's it. <laughs> Honestly, I think that the next, like, big 3D Zelda game should lean into upgradable weapons instead of breakable weapons. I think that they could have something like, um, you know, like, you find a certain type of weapon and then you just can keep it, but when you find copies of it, then you can upgrade it or something like that. So, like, you still have to go and find more of them and that makes them better and better. Uh, but you don't have to worry about them breaking and, like, hoarding your best stuff and things like that. <laughs> There's just a, a bunch of, I guess, might weapons right here. Lubri's Diary. The crystal I unearthed at the rift site, what I'm now calling a might crystal, has strange power. The monsters that sprang from the rift seem to be repelled by it. If I can get enough of it, I feel certain it would be powerful against the rift monsters. After many late nights of research, I developed a technology that can refine them into crystals. From there, I'll be able to create a weapon from the crystals, as well as enhance that weapon. So now I'm pondering what type of weapon I should make. I'll test some things to begin with. I was nearly attacked by a monster in the forest when a young man named Link rescued me. The folks in Southern Village tell me that Link has was among the group of kids who were stolen away. I really liked upgrading armor in Breath Tears game. I think I would enjoy upgrading weapons too. I mean, upgrading stuff is satisfying. That's why so many games do it. I do think that the grind to fully upgrade armor in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom is insane. Like, it feels like they didn't really think it through. But I, I still think it is the way to go. I think too many people find it too unsatisfying when you just have stuff break every couple seconds. And I had no problem with it in Breath of the Wild, but I think Tears of the Kingdom made it worse. Among the group of kids that were stolen away. These kids made it back somehow, though. Remarkable. All of the kids who were taken by the rifts have lost something. For Link, he lost the ability to speak. Despite all he has been through, he fights to keep others safe. His bravery has moved me deeply. Then it hit me. The young man would be the per best person to entrust the Sword of Might to. I do believe I can support him in his efforts. Tomorrow, I'll visit Southern Village again. The Sword of Might I entrusted to Link packs a wallop against those rift monsters, as I hoped. But it doesn't seem to be enough for the blue monster, who we believe created the rifts. It is a fearsome monster indeed. I suspect that the sword is not, powerful, not yet powerful enough to defeat him. However... I should be able to further enhance the sword, so I must gather more might crystals. Link stopped by on his way home from his travels. He likes the hood I gave him the other day. While he cannot speak, his feelings came through to me clearly, as clear as day. I've decided to make a new weapon. I must do what I can to continue to help Link. Link stopped by. He's off to defeat the blue monster once and for all. He seemed to be in a huge rush, but I couldn't figure out why. A sword of might had been forged as best as I am able. I gave him some other weapons, too. Yet, I cannot help but worry. Please stay safe and return to us, Link. Hmm. Was that all of them? I'll, I'll do this one. Yeah, okay. I got all of them. That's a lot of lore. It's, it's a little bit more mundane than I like. I kind of wish it, that it was like a full-on traditional Zelda story that happened off-screen. But this is interesting, too. It, it seems like it's actually going to be more relevant. Alright. 
after getting through all that. So like, there's a part of being of streaming on Twitch that I'm bad at, which is uh, marketing. I feel bad about it, but I feel like I should mention that September is happening. Now that I've said it, that's good enough for me. I'm moving on. So, generally, when the game gives you a, a water area and another area, you pick the water area because that's what you're supposed to do first. So that's where I'm headed. I wonder how open this game is. Like, they only give you the two dungeons. It's not going full Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, just here's four. <laughs> Wanted, Princess Zelda, if sighted, send word, word to the King of Hyrule. Oh no, spears can pierce it. Oh, I can make two. I have an extra pip. I assume it's going to cap out at like six, but oh yeah, these cost three. I can make two moblins though. Yeah, I assume that you're not going to get a ton of pips, but I do want to make, like, an army. Got the Krolltula. Oh, this is like... Yeah, I, I, I know what you want me to do. All right. Hmm, but can I crawl to the... Take me in... No. Crawl to no... Crawl to the needs beds. Hey, Groovy Gordon, thanks for subscribing. And uh, Xenar Bits, thanks for following. Link, Link, are you there? There are so many monsters here. Fight them off for me, please. Ooh, a side quest. Just like that. Organic-like. Alright. Now you go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. There we go. This will do better. Okay, you know, I've been out of the game for a bit, so I guess I should also say, if you, even if you just follow, you do get some emotes. I can't remember what the emotes are. Probably should have gone over that before I got back into things, but eh. You don't have to subscribe to get emotes now, but you get some fancier ones if you do. There's like an animated emote. Yeah, look at all of them. There you go. Thanks, Blastertron. No, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, we got a dancing wolf folks. We got a swole folks that flexes. Got a regular wolf host, got a game shark for the the, the real OGs, <laughs> the classics. We got combo from Kingdom Hearts 2. We got a smug uh, <laughs> Mario Odyssey related face. Well, we got two Mario Odyssey related faces. It's a pair, it's a set. You gotta get them both together. Man, yeah, then we just got like a regular wolf host town wolf host. 
These are my top three. I'm glad you have a top three. Wow, saving the day as always, the hero. Huh? You're not Link. Sorry about that. That hood had me thinking you were someone else. Please forgive the confusion. My name is Verly, and I'm a resident of Southern Village. I set off to chop grass in my village, and before I knew it, I chopped my way to Southern Prairie. While I was here, I figured I might as well get rid of the shrubs and make up my little plot for myself. That was when the monsters appeared and, well, you know the rest. There's a lesson here. You should never work, get too absorbed in your work. I'd like to pay you back for saving me. It's not much, but I hope you, you'll take it. Yeah, no, 20 rupees? That's pathetic. I get 50 rupees like it's nothing in this game. Oh, Link. The person I mistook you for? He's a brave swordsman from Southern Village. He's been the light to us all, but right now, he's off fighting monsters. It's rare to see a young person with that sort of drive to help others. I hope he's doing well, wherever he might be. If you run into a swordsman wearing a hood and green tunic, can you pass him a message? His friends in Southern Village will be there for him when he comes home. I did it. I beat a side quest. Not to rock. Sure, pea hat. Why not? Kill. <laughs> Got the Otter Rock Echo. Found the water. Octopus light creature spits rocks. Impressive range. Oh, I could just make this into a, a cannon. I can just do this. Go, Otter Rock. Kill. I guess realistically, I should probably check Southern Village, shouldn't I? Now that it's actually been resolved. Oh, what's your deal? This is a shortcut back to the ranch. Who's the prankster who blocked it off? Skullkin? I hope you're not planning to go this way. The road's blocked. I might consider taking another route, but that feels like admitting defeat. So, like, I can do whatever I want to get past this, but I could also just destroy it if I had the right stuff. Do I have the right stuff? Burn. There we go. Solved. Well, not as if standing here is going to get the junk out of my way. Not sure how much longer. So, there's this trend with, like, uh, Tears of the Kingdom and, like, some other recent Nintendo stuff where NPCs are, like, like, they, they cease to exist if you're not talking to them. Like, they are not aware of any actions that take place until you talk to them. Someone, there was like a really good term someone used to describe this. I, I saw like a tweet or something, or maybe it was a Tumblr post. But I completely forget what it was. It's clear. And with the rock cleared out, I don't, I won't have to go break my back climbing over that stuff. You clean things up, huh? Well, thanks. That's a big help. Here's something for your trouble. Man, these people are stingy. 
Ah, cool breeze, a clear path, and the sweet taste of convenience. Oh, it's just all gone now, okay. Hey, a thing. Ooh, rifts. So can I clear out these micro rifts somehow? I do want to cleanse these rifts. I desire it. It's one of my favorite things about Okami. I love how it, you get like all this polluted land and you can just find these last little patches of pollution and then you can clean it out. And make it all pretty. I like it. <laughs> Where are you going? God, these things attack so slow. I need a better projectile character. I guess I could just use a sword, but like... I'll run out of energy. Can't allow that. The speed is killing me though. They, they, they take so long to throw. <laughs> You got the 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 Gwei Echo. Soaring implacably above Hyrule Field, this winged monster dives to attack prey with its sharp beak. I just realized this is basically like the first ever Zelda game to have like an enemy log. I guess no, that's not fair. Because they there was like Navi and Tattle and stuff. Which is basically the same thing, just a little bit different. Collecting these echoes gives me the vibe of a monster ca catching RPG set in open world. It's really neat. Yeah, that is pretty accurate, honestly. <gasps> Guys. Alright, so, like, we're clear on what the next step is, right? It's time to find, you're right. Found it! Alright. Now go. Oh god, it's fast. That's not good. How much health does it have? Oh god. <laughs> Seconds before disaster. <laughs> Man, I really have no no fat Yes! 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 Did it. Game complete. I win. I beat the game. What a great Wolfos, too. This wolf-like creature is the bane of travelers, cir circling ominously around them. So fear and confusion. Man. Wolfos are so misunderstood. 
nice sprite model. Technically both correct in this instance. That's definitely just a PNG of the model. All right. It's gonna be costly, but I got him. No, oh, it barks. <laughs> Now, if they're really, really smart, I'll put in a Wolfos link. I'll pay. I'll pay a premium. I'll get a season pass or whatever. Ooh. Aha. All right. Just need a bunch more. They've got speed and power. All right, can you win? Oh no. Oh, wait a second. There we go. Your, your kit in this is insane. It's absurd. It's so broken. <laughs> Whew, this field is so big. At least we finished putting up the wanted posters in the west, but nobody's seen Princess Zelda yet. First, we should, first we're ordered to capture her First we're ordered to save her, now we're ordered to capture her. It doesn't really sit right with me to be treating her like some sort of villain. I mean, it's weird to me too, but orders are orders and all. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, we learned nothing out east by Seaside Village. Let's patrol here for now, I guess. Attack. Now oh, look at him go. He's just hanging out. All right, I'm sorry, but you have to go for now. I know they told us to find the princess, but the world's a big place. She could be anywhere. She could even... <laughs> she's right behind me, isn't she? <laughs> Besides, I've got my doubt she's as bad as they're saying. Hello there, Traveler. Would you, let us, would you let us know if you spot Zelda, the Princess of Hyrule? We didn't find anything east of Seaside Village. Let's patrol around here for a while. So that, I think that might be them not so subtly hinting that maybe you should go to the, the water area first. As suggested. As, I, as my gamer intuition told me. I need to get six pips as soon as possible. I need 18 pips. And there's nothing those wobbles can do. They're so slow. new things. Now how do I get them? Do I just, do I drop a rock on them? <laughs> that, the strat for water enemies? Oh jeez.
Alright. Those like little baby Georgs or something. I feel like this is just going to be the game that has every Zelda enemy in it. Nah. Nah, it's too light. Yeah, I don't think anything can drop in there to hurt him. Wow, this place is really big. I really have no idea where I'm... Yeah, I'm making progress, but man. Big-ass Hyrule Field. Ooh, a new thing. You learn the sword, Moblin Echo. I want to get rid of these rifts so much. They need to be gone. Alright, 20 rupees is 20 rupees, so I guess I'll do it. I've gotten so many enemy things, I forgot about this kind of stuff. Go. Ooh, a new thing. You got monster guts. Can't use it, though. I meant to go back to Southern Village, but I guess so much for that. Oh, it won. Good job, Wolfos. Got a crow. Just a normal crow. Everything else gets its own name. But these are crows. You can steal rupees. Now you work for me. Tectites. I really don't have much I can do to deal with water right now. There is no answer to a Wolfos. Oh god, jeez, that was a lot of damage. Oh man. They're, they're leading into the, the Breath of the Wild school of actual, real, crazy amounts of damage. Not just your usual, like, one heart, quarter heart, half heart, maybe if we're feeling spicy, two hearts. Oh. Well, there we go. Sword Mob level 2? Ooh. Ooh. Wait, does this mean I can get a Wolfos level 2? How high does it go? How. What is the max Podair here? Got a monster cell, and these strange stones are found inside the bodies of monsters. Okay. Still haven't even really done anything with the whole gear system. There's just that, like. The thing that makes hearts appear more, but there's... Ooh, hey! This is an opportunity. God, there are a lot of echoes in this game at this rate. Jeez. 
Tektite can jump on water. Jump, jumps higher every third hop. Doesn't seem that useful, but actually, now that I think about it, if I can just attach myself to it, I can probably do all kinds of stuff. seeing these weird little like grass formations and stuff and I just I have to wonder if there's an ability or not for the them like if I'm just seeing patterns where there are none or if there is something there I'm staying inside the water even though I can just swim but I can't just go anywhere which is like a lot <laughs> that's a lot to think about like, how much of the map yeah I've gotten I almost made it to the top of the map I will say that Another one of you. Oh, the wolf is really strong. It's kind of carrying me a little bit. I'm out wandering. Okay. See, like, this would be a suspicious area in a normal Zelda game, but I can just climb up it, so, like, it's not actually, I guess. Oops. Uh-oh. Do that again. Okay, there we go. That's the sus that's the the obvious suspiciousness. All right, just need eight more of these. No, come back. God, this is a lot. I have to actively choose what things not to engage with. Oh. Oh no, okay. Oh, okay, it's, it's... It's Breath of the Wild. <laughs> In every way. There's a thing I can do about this, though. You're shivering, Zelda. Are you going to be okay? It's windy and snowy up here, much stronger than before. You'll freeze before long. Can you bring out something to keep you warm? I sure can. And I'll just have to keep spamming these. Where is it? Hold on. Now we're all good. Ooh, what? Rock salt? A clump of salt crystallized over a long time. You can't use it in its current form. Oh man, cause this, could this be in the, the Wind Waker timeline? It, there's salt. And everyone knows there's salt in the sea. And there's only a sea in Wind Waker. Thing. God, this game is crazy. <laughs> what? That that looks so readable. Why can't I read it? <laughs> what? 
Wait, are those yetis like from Twilight Princess? Does this just have everything? There's even soup, I think. I hope that's soup. You know what else is cold? The ocean, it's true. You're so right. <laughs> huh, wait, this doesn't work? How does that not work? Can I use this? Huh, what's the trick? Do I need a snow shovel? So I guess this is, this is the direction we're going now. <laughs> I guess we're doing those ice mountains now. Oh! Ice lever. Uh oh. Ice lever. Hmm. How do I go about this best? Tektite? No. Got a good feeling about keys. No, wait. Needs to be you. Has to be fire. I'm making it work. <laughs> oh, got one. Now to get the next one. Wait, that's just a regular lever? But it's so icy. <laughs> a patient subterranean monster. It waits for its prey, bursts out the surface. Doesn't mention the ice at all. I guess maybe it's just adaptive. Ooh. Oh no. Thought that was a gold root because of the lighting, but it's not. Oh, ice keys. <laughs> ice pokey? <laughs> Is that just a pokey? I'm really not meant to be here. That much is clear. But, on the other hand, how else will I get twisted pumpkins? <laughs> it's more effective than a drink.
Don't know how much more of this I got. <laughs> Those things bounce all over the place. I guess I could use my sword here. This is like probably a good place to use it. Got a snow mall. A strange and hostile collection of living snowballs. This creature's true body is the head. It can regrow lost snowballs. Hmm. Oh, another twisted pumpkin. I'm rolling in them. You can do it, Ignizal. No, Ignizal. It doesn't linger long enough. Oh, ja, jeez. Doesn't linger long enough to set it on fire. But <laughs> yeah, this isn't a good matchup. I need better fire <laughs> allies. <laughs> That was good. I feel like I'm finding the intended path, because now there's a bunch of these. There's a bunch of braziers without any help at all. Ah, oh, jeez. Placement of these torches makes it seem like... Oh god. Okay, I'm one hit away. Need some health. I probably should just find out about some smoothies somewhere or something. <laughs> How much of the map have I gotten up? Not much of the Hebron Mountains at all, actually. Go. That was close. It's crazy being in an ice area in a Zelda game, and it has a theme song. That's wild. Oh, is it not really cold here? Yeah, there's no blizzard. I'm going the opposite direction that you're supposed to, I think. <laughs> oh, hey, I did it. I made it all the way to the top of the map, legally. I, I can't blow that up or anything, so... I don't know. I guess we'll figure out where this is going next time. I'll be streaming this again tomorrow. So tune in for that.